Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. At home, even if you've got a smaller Energy Star fridge, the refrigerator wattage likely won't be covered by a 1000 watt load at startup despite easily running on a fraction of that at optimum operation. It won't run a 1000 watt microwave either because its running load is more like 1500 watts. Make your mark, take our lead. However, the generator must be properly sized to start the appliances and equipment you want to run. For example, if you want a generator to run a refrigerator and a freezer, the wattage table two of the refrigerator would be 800 and the freezer would be 1000. If so, you would need 1800 x 4, 7200 watts. Let's help you make your mark. Conventional refrigerators typically have a starting wattage of 800, 1, 200 watt hour per day, and a running wattage of around 150 to watt hour per day. Refrigerators are reactive devices that require additional power to start because they contain an electric motor, but significantly fewer watts to run as they remain on. Let's help you make your mark. An average home will need about 6,000 watts of solar to go completely off-grid. However, if you want to back up a refrigerator and maybe a freezer, and power a few lights, then 1,500 watts might be sufficient to handle that, depending on the quality of inverter, and if you have enough solar panels and batteries. Make your mark, take our lead. Is a 1200-watt portable generator large enough for my RV? Box fan, 1 to 2 amps. Coffee maker, 5 to 8 amps. Hair dryer, 5 to 12 amps. Microwave, 8 to 12 amps. RV electrical converter, 1 to 8 amps depending on load. RV refrigerator on AC mode, 5 to 9 amps. TV, 2 to 4 amps. Toaster, 7 to 10 amps. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.